So the first section in chapter six is titled Oryx. And the key elements of the section are the characters presented are Oryx, who is the primary character as she's talking about her life. Um, she's also telling her story, where she comes from, and how she got to where she is now to Jimmy, who is considered a secondary character in this section, as well as Uncle Len, who in this section is just talked about as being the businessman that comes and buys the children. Um, he's also known as just the man wearing the watch and the wealthy man, very known by the villagers. And Oryx's mother is slightly touched upon, just as she presents her mother's situation with, um, and the reason for her being sold to Uncle Ed. Um, The plot is going to be touched about all throughout the analysis. Um, the setting, as is a lot in the book, is done in the past, as Oryx, Oryx is explaining her past to Jimmy. Like I said, where she comes from and how she got to where she is now. Um, the idea concerning the theme of the section is dark, but Oryx does not perceive it that way kind of just really has a general view on it. It's kind of something that she just kind of grew up knowing. Um, that children were sold to man to provide for their other siblings and their parents. Um, the style slash tone of this section is that it leaves readers and Jimmy with several unanswered questions. So the main idea concerning the plot of this section is Oryx's childhood. So Oryx's childhood is briefly touched upon as she does not recall much that happened. Um, she was born in a small, poor village where the poverty rate is almost equivalent to the amount of children. Um, Oryx's father fell ill as she was really young and that causing him to die, leaving solely her mother to take care of her and her siblings. Um, they were living in a very heavy financial strain. A lot of people in the village did. It was very common. So due to the elevated poverty rate in which they lived, parents often sold some of their children in order to provide for their other siblings. Oryx's mother was one of numerous living in such poverty, struggling to provide since her father's death, which led her to sell Oryx. Also pertaining to Oryx's neutral state of mind concerning this process because she was so used to seeing children being sold, she thought of it more so as just something that parents did and that it was normal. And that also goes along with Jimmy's perception of this because Jimmy did not know this, did not recognize this as he only kind of knew the life inside the compound and always lived with his parents other than his mom leaving. His parents never sold him or any other siblings. Due to Oryx being so young, she was sold to a man. This man was described as being a respectful businessman by the villagers. This man was very familiar to the villagers. He was always well dressed. He was never sought as a threat as he came to buy children off often as a favor in exchange for money. He was always looked upon as a generous man in whom they could trust and would take care of their children. He was said to buy the children with plans to take them to a larger city to sell flowers in exchange for some much needed cash. Mothers would tell their children that they would come back, but in reality, none of them ever did. When Oryx had been sold, she was also sold as, with one of her brothers. She believed her mother cared for her and did not want her to be sent alone. In other words, that she wanted to comfort her by sending her brother. The man stated that taking her brother along with her back to the village was a favor towards her mother, as boys are much harder to deal with. They don't attract the buyers the man was aiming for. It kind of links to what we learned with the whole prostitution and the flower selling. At the end of this section, readers are shown um, the different reactions of the characters, um, Oryx, Jimmy, and Crake, and just kind of how they react to Oryx's story, um, where she comes from, and the whole selling the children to the man. Um, Oryx has a very neutral point of view. She approaches the situation with a more practical point of view, um, as she understands that if she had not gone with the man, her family would have starved to death. She also sees it, um, the whole prostitution thing, as being real sex and real love. She thinks the man later um, identified as Uncle N is truly in love with her. Um, Craig also explores the situation as, in the same sense as Oryx. They're kind of like a balanced um, views between them seeing that it was necessary as well for her to be sold due to the overpopulation of children being equivalent to the poverty rate um, and having such minimal access to necessary resources. 
Whereas in On the Other Side, Jimmy's reaction is the complete opposite. He expresses himself to be very angered by the situation. Um, he refers to it as being rape and does not see it in the sense of real sex. The second section in chapter six is titled Bird Call. And the key elements of this section pertaining to characters are Oryx and Uncle N as the primary characters, and the other children Uncle N bought from the village are the secondary characters. Um, this section is the plot is based on um, the main idea of them traveling from the small village Oryx came from to the larger city where they are going to work for Uncle N. The setting, once again, is in the past. All throughout this chapter, the setting is in the past tense. Um, as or Oryx is explaining her trip from the village to the city um, for Jimmy. Um, three big themes that are shown and demonstrated throughout this section are fear, wonder, and hope. Um, the tone being fear of not knowing where they're being taken and what to expect from the man. Um, and then just wondering what to expect as well ties into that. And then hope coming from the bird call as they keep hearing the bird call. Um, and later I'll explain how Oryx um, links that to being her mother. So the voyage. Oryx remember very little. That's something that we learn about Oryx's character is that um, as she touches upon her childhood, there are very, very few details she remembers. Um, the wealthy man introduces himself as Uncle N. Um, he instructed the children to use his name at any given point when addressing him. Um, they were stopped by a couple of soldiers on route as they walked um, by foot from her small village until they reached his car. And once they got in her car, in his car, um, they were stopped by a couple of soldiers in which Uncle Len stated the children were his nieces and nephews. And when those soldiers asked Oryx who the man conducting them was, and she replied Uncle Len, he rewarded her with candy, and from there she became his favorite. He never really looked at her as anything more than the others until that moment, and he kind of favored her. As later in the chapter, we also see that that night, he wanted Oryx close to him. Um, the children also cried all night as they were frightened. So the children were frightened as they had no idea where they were going and as far as they knew they had been taken away from all they've ever known. They no longer had the presence of love from their families but they now learn that they have become a money value for their families. Um,